Hello. Hello, friends. How's everyone doing? It's been a while. Um, today, I decided we could just cook together. Um, I'm trying something new. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I have hope, okay? I have hope. Okay, so today, I am just going to go through the ingredients I have, and hopefully it ends up tasting decent. So I'm, I have a bunch of cream cheese in my fridge because I do. And then I also have this massive jar of jam. So I wanted to make kind of like mini cheesecake things, but I don't have any of like the real ingredients for cheesecake things. So I'm taking what I know from other times that I've baked and cooked with people in my lives, and I'm gonna try and apply it to right now. So I know to make icing, cream cheese icing, you need sugar, vanilla, and cream cheese and there's some other ingredients in there that i'll probably just google but i'm gonna try and make some icing and i'm gonna mix it with the jam to make like a cream cheese jam vibe and then i have crackers that like graham crackers that i'm gonna like maybe dip in if it's good now i'm gonna start with a really small bowl and i'm just gonna start with a spoonful because i don't know if it's gonna taste good and i don't want to go and waste all my food if it's not gonna taste good. You know what I mean? So let's do that now. I'm gonna scoop out some cream cheese in a bowl and mix it with all the sugar and vanilla and then we'll come back and see if it tastes good. Okay, so I've got like three scoops. It's kind of like one scoop together. So it's like two scoops of ice cream. Don't mind my gross finger. I just had to, you know, get it off the spoon. But there you go. So that's using, and now I'm gonna put the jam the sugar and the vanilla in and hopefully it'll taste good. I'm gonna start with some sugar. I'm just gonna grab another spoon. And this is powdered sugar. Um, most icing calls for powdered sugar. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna just kind of, I mean, I'm guessing it. The cream cheese is very, not bitter, but I don't know. It's not sweet either. So I'm gonna put three scoops of confectioner sugar. That's what it's called, it's just powdered sugar. In the bowl. Ooh, tastes so good. I love powdered sugar so much. That's way too much. Just make sure it's not flour, because that would be, that'd be bad. That does not taste good. And this is kind of what it looks like. Just kind of, and now I'm gonna mix it all together. Ooh. So I'm like gently folding in the sugar, just pushing it down into, ah, that was bad. That's cause I'm trying to do this with one hand. Don't forget to wear an apron, everybody or at least clothes you don't care about. So anyways, just gently pushing in the sugar to the cream cheese to like help mix it along. And eventually we'll add some liquid once it gets a little bit more consistent. Okay, so after a few minutes of mixing, I got some on my finger and I licked it and it was so good. So I'm really glad I did this. It already looks exactly like kind of the icing you'd get in the tubs. So I just kind of like smeared it around the edges and just continue to gently fold it in. I really thought I was going to have to add, like, some cream to it to, like, I don't know, make it less cream cheesy vibe, like cheese vibe and make it more creamy. But the confectioner sugar, or the powdered sugar, really just did its magic. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of vanilla in because we like the flavor of vanilla. But this tastes amazing. Okay, so we're working on it now. So I'm just using the same spoon I did to mix and I'm just gonna gently pour a little tiny bit onto the spoon. Always start with a little bit and then go with a lot. Now again, I don't measure anything, so this is gonna be bad if you guys are really trying to follow along properly. But so far, it seems to be two scoops, two tablespoons, about this size, normal tablespoons, two tablespoons of cream cheese, three tablespoons of powdered sugar, and it looks like maybe a teaspoon of vanilla. But we're gonna see how the vanilla fares out. We might have to add more sugar or anything else just to, if we balance out, if we put too much vanilla in, just add a little bit more um, of the other ingredients. And I mean, just a little bit more. Again, always go with small amounts first and then work your way up. I was really nervous this wasn't gonna taste good, guys. But oh my goodness. I've really been craving some like cheesecake vibes i don't know what it is maybe it's the weather or something but this is i think is going to satisfy my urges here my, my cravings and really get into it i don't know i hope this video is 
educational. Um, I hope it inspires you to make food that you would want to try. Again, try and use limited ingredients, especially if you've never tried it before, or if you're just goofing off in the kitchen, because um, you don't want to be wasting food. But at the same time, creativity in the kitchen is one of the most amazing things. Um, okay, so we've got this. It doesn't look super appetizing, but I'm gonna see how it tastes. Oh, okay, the vanilla was definitely a good suggestion. Thank you, Google. Next, I'm gonna take some jam and put it in here. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of jam just because I'm not a huge fan of strawberry jam. This isn't for me normally. This is for the people in my, fa my family, in my household. So we're gonna give that a shot. I'll let you guys know. So one spoonful of jam. Okay, I should have to encourage it off the spoon. Super gross. Tastes like jam. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to say here. Tastes like strawberry jam. I'm gonna put the spoon in the sink and continue mixing with the other spoon that I have. So I'm gonna mix it all together. Hopefully. Normally I like cherry with my um, cheesecake. Like I like a good cherry cheesecake. Or oh, raspberry. Raspberry just hits different. Something about raspberries for me um, really just set the bar. Now what I would suggest is putting this in the freezer for a bit and getting it kind of cold so that way it has the cheesecake feel. But first, I'm going to taste it obviously and then I'll put some grain crackers I might like plate it nicely and then put it in the freezer so that way it looks nice there you go jam yeah that's what I wanted I like a hint of it you know like just flavor just a little bit so it looks kind of pinky honestly this hits I'll let you guys I'll keep you updated I promise all right so I found a Tupperware container I think this is what I'm gonna use to help I don't know kind of create whatever I'm doing, whatever this is, a little cheesecake-esque a vibe. So I take my graham crackers, I might make them into like an actual breading, which pretty much just means graham crackers, and it's, I think it's butter. I just think it's graham crackers and butter. I'm gonna check that out and I will come back to you guys. And then we're gonna put this over top and stick it in the freezer and hopefully have like a cheesecake-esque vibe. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm crossing my fingers. If it doesn't look pretty, I know it at least tastes good because that, amazing okay so i think i'm gonna do four of these i'm just gonna smash them up in this container and then i'm trying to pat it down and then i might put some melted butter over top of it to help keep its shape so we'll see how that works so this is what it looks like right now i'm gonna keep crushing it up very therapeutic to crush these up with your hands so we're gonna keep going with it okay so that took me a really long time so i suggest just putting it in a plastic bag and like beating on it I ended up using a ladle and just like crushing it around the sides. Anyways, it's not super even and there's obviously some still chunk, like big chunks in there, but I'm happy with it. So next I'm just gonna go melt some butter. You can use a bowl, I have a measuring cup here. Not that I'm gonna be measuring anything, but um, and I think, I don't know what I'm gonna use. Oh, just a knife. I'm just one of my butter knives and just get a decent amount on there. Again, start with a little bit and maybe see if you need more. I'm gonna start. I think that should be good. I have no idea what that's gonna turn out to, but I think it should probably be one fourth, probably less than that. So I'll let you guys know. Hey, look at that. I was pretty much right. That goes up to one fourth exactly. God, I've been getting good at this. I'm just gonna take my knife, stir it all in. Delicious. Who doesn't like melted butter? Tell me. I mean, I don't think I would drink it, but I also saw a piece of like tin foil in there that I'm gonna try and get out before it, I pour it onto my thing. So I'm gonna do that. I'll be back. So I've poured the butter in. It is very warm, but look how solid that is. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. I'm gonna pat it down kind of with my fingers to really flatten it and make almost a crust. You really want to make sure that it gets down to the bottom or else you're going to have like loose crumbs. You can kind of see the color difference. Look at that color difference. 
So I'm gonna really focus my energy, maybe mix it around a little bit too, because we've definitely got some inconsistent butter spots. And no one wants their crust to be uneven. So I'm just working it. It smells really good. So I'm I'm already excited. I'm excited to eat it, but I'm gonna wait patiently, maybe do some homework, come back and eat it. And hopefully it'll be a good it'll act as a good reward for me. Um I don't know, looking forward to having a little snack. Anyways, my fingers are really covered in butter. So I'm gonna layer the goop onto the crust and put her in the freezer. Oh my goodness, guys, look. Look at that. I think it looks really good. If I had fresh strawberries, I'd cut them, put them on top, make it look really pretty. But I don't, so we're just gonna leave it like this. I'm debating putting the lid on, I think. Probably just leave it like this in the freezer. But the problem with you leave things without lids on, sometimes they'll absorb the smells of other things. So you want to make sure that my cheesecake tastes like cheesecake and not like pogos. Um, anyways, uh, I hope you guys got inspired by this. Make what you want to make. Have a great time. Oh my goodness, there's cat hair everywhere. Um, have a good time. Explore, okay? It's good to have junk food every now and again. It's just all about balance, right guys? Um, I'm really excited to eat this. I might not wait, but I think it'd be better cold if I, so, if I waited. But oh, just look at that. It is a little uneven in some spots, but the bottom looks, I think it's even, we're gonna do the Dairy Queen test, ready? Okay, that, I think that's a pretty good, Judge, it's a little heavy, but you see that we use like no ingredients, spoonfuls, not cups, nothing. We didn't really waste any food and we made something amazing. And if it wasn't amazing, we only used, I think I only used three graham crackers, a spoonful of jam, two spoonfuls of cream cheese. So obviously talk to your parents first before you do anything in the kitchen, right? Ask them if you're allowed to, because you don't know what they have plans for. You don't know, you know, what groceries are for next week. You know, they want to make sure you want to keep them in the loop, all right? And that's my biggest suggestion to anyone who wants to try cooking or anything in the kitchen. Just talk to your parents first. Say, hey, am I allowed to try this? I promise not to use all of the cream cheese. I swear, there'll be enough for bagels, I promise, you know? And especially going through things that might expire soon, they're already going to almost expire and talking to your parents about it, they might be like, yeah, that's, that's probably going to go bad in a week anyways or in two days, you know, see what you can make with it. And sometimes you make something amazing and sometimes it's not that amazing, but it's all about give and take and it's all about trying, right? So I hope I inspired you to try. I hope I inspired you to create something. If you guys want to make this, um, just follow the video, I guess. Um, I can probably... Leave a recipe if you guys are interested, but just let me know and I will get it to you, I guess. Anyways, have a great day. Don't forget to treat people nicely, kindly, wear a mask, um, be safe, and don't be afraid to take chances in the kitchen. Have a great day, guys. Bye.